Alex Smith's awe-inspiring comeback to Cedric Benson's tragic turn. The 2005 NFL Draft was a storybook of highs, lows, and everything in between. We saw Ronnie Brown redefine the running back role, while Pac-Man Jones took us on a wild ride beyond the field. And who could forget Cadillac Williams' journey from Rookie of the Year to a guiding force off the field? Each player's path was as unpredictable as a game-winning Hail Mary. But what really goes on when the stadium lights dim and the jerseys are hung up for the last time? What do you think life after the NFL holds for these gridiron giants? Stick around as we uncover the stories behind the helmets. Kicking off our list is Alex Smith, the first pick in the 2005 NFL Draft. Drafted by the San Francisco 49ers, Smith's journey in the NFL was no less than a roller coaster ride. His early years were tough, grappling with the high expectations and a revolving door of offensive coordinators. But just like a classic underdog story, Smith found his groove with the Kansas City Chiefs, transforming into a Pro Bowl quarterback. Remember that heart stopping moment in 2018? Smith suffered a gruesome leg injury that nearly ended not just his career, but threatened his life. Yet, in a display of sheer willpower and grit, he made a miraculous comeback in 2020. However, recognizing the risks, he hung up his cleats in 2021, turning the page to a new chapter in his life, filled with motivational speaking and sports analysis. And speaking of comebacks, wait till you hear about Ronnie Brown at number two. This guy's story has more twists than a pretzel factory. Remember the Wildcat formation? That was Brown's specialty, a trick play that left defenses scratching their helmets in confusion. In 2008, he not only made it to the Pro Bowl, but also etched his name in the NFL's playbook history. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. After his stint with the Dolphins, Brown bounced around the league with the Eagles, Chargers, and Texans. His once bright flame dimmed, and by 2014, he had left the gridiron for good. What's Ronnie up to now, you ask? Well, he's keeping it low-key, occasionally popping up in the media, but mostly staying out of the limelight, enjoying life away from the field's frenzy. Braylon Edwards, on the other hand, went from catching footballs to catching, well, let's just say his post-NFL life is quite the catch. Snagged by the Cleveland Browns as the third pick, he soared into the NFL like a rocket. In 2007, this wide receiver was catching touchdowns left, right, and center notching a Pro Bowl selection and making defenders look like they were stuck in mud. But as quickly as he rose, Edwards' career took a nosedive. Injuries and inconsistency played tag team, and his time with the Jets, 49ers, and Seahawks saw more fumbles than fanfares. When he left the field for the last time in 2012, Edwards didn't just fade into the shadows. Oh no, he swapped his cleats for a pin, authoring a book and dishing out sports analysis on TV. Speaking of changing lanes, Cedric Benson went from dodging tackles to, well, let's just say his journey post-NFL was anything but predictable. As the fourth pick for the Chicago Bears, he had a career that was a real roller coaster ride, minus the cotton candy. He started with a whimper in Chicago, but then revved up his engines in Cincinnati, rushing for over a thousand yards three seasons in a row. Just when it seemed like he'd found his groove, the ride came to a halt. After a short stint with the Packers, Benson bid adieu to the NFL in 2012, but his post-NFL life took a tragic turn. In 2019, Cedric Benson's journey was cut short in a devastating motorcycle accident. A man who once dodged linebackers with grace couldn't dodge fate. His untimely departure left fans and fellow players mourning a life that had so much more to give, both on and off the field. Next up is Cadillac Williams. And if you thought Benson's story had twists, wait until you hear about Williams' drive through life's highway. As the fifth pick by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Cadillac started his career like a luxury car fresh off the lot. Sleek, fast, and full of promise. His rookie year was stellar, earning him the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year award. But just like a flashy car hitting speed bumps, Cadillac's career was jolted by injuries. His once bright spotlight dimmed as he hopped from the Buccaneers to the Rams, and by 2011, his NFL journey hit the brakes. But don't think for a second that Cadillac parked himself in a garage to gather dust. No, sir. He shifted gears into coaching, using his experiences to fuel the next generation of players. As the running back coach at Auburn, his alma mater, Williams is proving that sometimes the best journeys don't happen on the field. 
but on the sidelines, mentoring future stars. Now, if you think Cadillac's transition was something, wait until you see how Pac-Man Jones as the sixth pick played the game of life after the NFL. It's a whole different ball game. This cornerback was known as much for his electrifying plays on the field as he was for his off-field escapades. Pac-Man had a knack for finding trouble, or maybe trouble had a knack for finding him. Despite the controversies, he showed flashes of brilliance with the Titans and later with the Bengals, where he became a Pro Bowler and a first-team All-Pro. But like a game of Pac-Man, there were ghosts he just couldn't outrun. After hanging up his cleats in 2018, Jones didn't exactly fade into the quiet life. He dabbled in pro wrestling. Yes, wrestling. And his name still pops up in headlines now and then. Proving that some players keep playing the game long after the final whistle. But from the spotlight-stealing antics of Pac-Man, let's turn to Troy Williamson, whose NFL story is a lesson in unfulfilled potential. Drafted by the Minnesota Vikings as the seventh pick, he entered the NFL with a reputation as a speedster, ready to zoom past defenders. But unfortunately for Williamson, his career didn't quite hit the fast lane as expected. Brought in to fill the cleats of legend Randy Moss, he faced an uphill battle against dropped passes and unmet expectations. After a few stints with the Vikings and Jaguars, his NFL story ended not with a bang, but a whimper, exiting stage left in 2009. Post-NFL, Williamson became something of a mystery. Shunning the spotlight and living a life away from the media glare, it seems like after the final whistle, he preferred a quiet life, far from the roar of the stadiums and the flash of cameras. Now from the quiet retreat of Williamson, let's shift gears to Antrell Roll. His journey from the gridiron to, well, you'll see, is nothing short of a touchdown dance. He got scooped up as the eighth pick by the Arizona Cardinals and was like a Swiss Army knife on the field. Versatile and always handy, this defensive back was no stranger to making big plays, whether it was with the Cardinals, the New York Giants, or the Chicago Bears. With a Super Bowl ring to his name and three Pro Bowl appearances, Roll's career was as glittering as they come. But all good things come to an end, and in 2015, Roll decided it was time to hang up his helmet. Post-retirement, Roll didn't just sit back and count his tackles. He drove into the world of business, exploring ventures and occasionally surfacing in the media to share his insights on the NFL. Roll's transition from intercepting passes to intercepting business opportunities shows that life after the NFL can be just as exciting as the game itself. And speaking of exciting transitions, wait till you hear about Carlos Rogers. Nabbed by the Washington Redskins as the ninth pick, Carlos was like a wall in the secondary. This cornerback had a knack for shutting down receivers and nabbing interceptions, making life tough for quarterbacks across the league. His career, which also included a stint with the San Francisco 49ers, was marked by a Pro Bowl selection in 2011. But even the best plays come to an end, and Rodgers bid farewell to the NFL in 2014. Post-football life, however, threw a curveball his way. In 2019, Rodgers found himself in hot water embroiled in a fraud case involving a healthcare program for retired NFL players. But let's switch from defense to offense and talk about Mike Williams. His journey from the spotlight of the NFL to, well, you might be surprised where he ended up. He was scooped up as the 10th pick by the Detroit Lions and was like a blockbuster movie with an unexpected plot twist. His NFL journey, filled with high expectations as a wide receiver, turned into a saga of comebacks and setbacks. After a promising start, Williams' career took a detour through Oakland, Tennessee, and finally Seattle, where he briefly rekindled his early promise. However, the bright lights of the NFL dimmed for Williams in 2012, as he stepped off the gridiron for the last time. Post-NFL, Williams embraced the art of a low-profile living, steering clear of the limelight. He's kept his life after football as private as a secret playbook. And there you have it, folks, the roller coaster stories of the top 10 picks from the 2005 NFL Draft. Now, I turn the spotlight over to you, our football-savvy viewers. Which of these players' post-NFL paths surprised you the most, and why? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more NFL journeys and untold stories. Until next time, keep the game spirit alive.